Hi, you're welcome. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get Windows Quick Share by Android on your Windows PC, even if the website was telling you that your PC was incompatible. So this is what you get right now. If you're on this video for some reason, when you come to Quick Share websites, how you come here is you just search for uh, Quick Share, Quick Share by Android on Google or on Bing search and when you come to the site you notice that it's saying uh, wireless sharing with your pc made easy email me this link what is supposed to be here is not email me this link you're supposed to be seeing get started so you can download the software and install it on your system but it's not working so the people who are having this issue who this video i made specifically for are people whose laptops are compatible with this software and who might have even used it before but uninstalled it or tried to update it and it's no longer going i fully believe that there is a bug from the android developers who built this website because what the website using javascript or whichever other uh, technology underneath is supposed to do is once you visit the site it will go through your system specifications ensure that your laptop is compatible with this software the problem is you're going to be seeing it seems your device is not compatible with quick share for windows for windows computers running a 64-bit uh, version of windows 10 and up arm devices not supported so clearly all that you need for you to run this software on your system is that your laptop should be a 64-bit uh, windows laptop and then it should be running either windows 10 or windows 11 and above but arm devices are not uh, allowed for now for this software but still you can see that when you come to the website you're seeing email me a link and if you go to the specifications of my own computer for example you can see that i have a, a an intel 11th gen a core i7 processor here i have a 16 gig ram i have a 64 bit operating system windows 11 pro on this computer so it's clearly should be able to run this software but i'm still seeing this the first step i tried to use to solve this was going to the android community to go and report this issue you know i created a, a trade there but unfortunately there is a person here or a robot that is called fred mccord fred mccord keeps shutting down important uh, conversations on google android community this guy is actually not even a google employee he's a google volunteer according to him and they have given him the authority to delete trades you know the first time i reported this case even other people who reported this case what fred mccord told them to do was to go to their go to their google chrome on their android phone and send the report there and i'm like what's the correlation between my android phone and clearly something that is a bug from the website on my pc all right that is saying my pc is not compatible with the software and he deleted the message somebody else wrote about this he also deleted the trade fred mccord whoever he is whether he's a robot or a human being i don't know keeps deleting important trades on google android community if somebody at google is seeing this please work on this guy or robot whatever he is or whoever he is as you can see this is where i posted the problem previously and fred mccord deleted the question and the trade entirely and this happened to another person who also posted this where a solution was actually proffered Fred McCord also deleted the question. So going back to the issue here, you can see email me a link here. Now email me a link will not work for you because when you send, when you click on email me a link, all it's going to do is to open your email software and it's going to ask you to send this same link. All right, this same particular link to this website to yourself. All right, and then when you send it and open it, obviously it's not going to solve anything for you. So the best way to solve this which i found over in the internet is actually it's actually depending on the link you are following you can see here we have android.com slash better together better dash together slash quick share app but the website where you actually go to download this if you're having this issue of compatibility is this one you go to android.com slash intl which stands for international slash en which i think stands for english underscore ie 
on slash better together slash quick share app now I've, I've provided this link in the in the description panel below so you don't need to actually start writing this out from here so just click on it from the description panel below it will take you to this website it is the same android.com website but somehow with the inclusion of international and slash english here the website is working so i don't understand this bug because i even tried using a vpn to visit the website and i was still getting this particular version of the site which is telling me that my laptop is incompatible. So this does, it doesn't matter whether you're using Chrome or Edge browser or any other browser, you're still gonna have the same bug. So just click on this link, you come to this site. Once you come here, you click on get started. You see that it will give you the, uh, the option to download so you can save us. So once you, you save this, so once you save this, you open it up, it's gonna ask you, it's going to ask you to continue so you're going to go ahead download the software all right so i'm just going to cancel the download here i'm going to cancel it because i already have it installed so this is it here i already have it installed so i don't need to install it and there's no updates to it yet so you can see i have the quick share now on my system which was previously said to be incompatible because i use this link and then you can sign in to start using it or you can use it without an account okay from here i can click use without an account and uh, you know set it up uh sending you can share with anyone nearby who has chosen to be visible receiving no one so i'm gonna receiving is turned off you can share with anyone so i'm gonna select anyone or your devices so just go through these settings, tweak it around. You can always change it and then done. Once you've done this, anytime you want to send stuff, let's say I want to send this image, I can instantly drag it into this and you can see it has detected my phone here. All right, because I've previously, my Bluetooth is connected to this and QuickShare is also, is also installed on my uh, Android phone, Xiaomi uh, Note phone so once i select this it's gonna it's gonna start sending i'm gonna get notified on my phone and i can use my phone to receive this the reason why i like quick share is that you can easily use this on on the windows context menu like for example i want to send this particular image now i can just right click it and i can do quick share send with quick share you understand and it's quite fast it's faster than a blue than using bluetooth just make sure that your phone and your laptop are connected via bluetooth it doesn't use your internet connection let me know in the comment section below if this video has been helpful to you and um, let me know if you found any other solutions to this and if you're working at google please reach out to this person fred mccord and send some kind of warnings to him so that they can stop doing this, pulling down issues on Google community when they cannot offer solutions to the problem. And please, please and please, if you found some value in this video, please endeavor to like the video and also hit that subscribe button. This will help YouTube recommend this video to more people. This will help the channel to grow, encourage me to make more useful content like this and it will also grow the community. And also you will be able to get notified when I create helpful tips like this. I make videos about uh, coding, about solving problems on tech and these kinds of videos. So please make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the video and drop a comment. Even if you should thank me for this video, or let me know your opinion about this video. I really appreciate your feedback and I'll reply. Thank you so much and see you on the next one. Bye for now.